Hey guys, so it is Friday, um, and I will be your host. So this week, I guess I don't really have much to talk about, and I knew going into this that it was going to be a really boring video because I just can't really think of anything to say. <laughs> but first, I wanted to say, um, Gwen, I'm so glad to hear that Sydney's coming home. That's so exciting. It's never fun to have to watch your pets uh, go through that, and I'm just so glad to hear that he's finally coming home. Um, Leah, regarding the MRI, um, I mean, I've had, a, I had one MRI in my life and it was half an hour long, um, and basically it was, it was on my head, so what they did was when I was lying down, they had like this weird helmet thing that went over my entire face and like buckled into the bed below me, and like there's just enough room for like my eyes and like my mouth and nose, but to like see, but it was like through these bars of the helmet thing. Anyway, it was, it was really scary and I thought I was going to freak out and, you know, hyperventilate and like die in there, <laughs> but I got through it and, um, it is kind of scary at first, but I just closed my eyes and tried to relax and tried to just think of something else because... I found with my eyes open it just felt like everything was too close and I'm kind of claustrophobic anyway so wasn't the best setting to put me in. <laughs> hmm, what else? Paige, um, like Kylie said, you're amazing <laughs> for doing all the things that you're doing. I still can't believe it every time I watch your videos and hear you talk about all the homework and all the work you're doing and volunteering and all that. I just, I, I can't even imagine what it must be like so just keep trying to do the best that you can. Uh, that's all you can do. And if you do have to cut back on some of the things, don't feel guilty about it. Um, sometimes it's just what we gotta do, so. Um, Kylie, um, regarding the whole uh, underlying condition or primary condition thing, I don't really know if I have another condition, but I, I suspect that if I did have like a thorough examination, like doing tons and tons of tests, um, they would find more than what I have right now. Uh, and I don't know, I think POTS kind of brings on other conditions or is caused by other conditions, but I haven't really put much thought or research into if it's one or the other. But I do think that it definitely brings on or is secondary to other conditions. Um, I was talking to you about this the other day, but the whole chronic fatigue thing, um, chronic fatigue and POTS are so similar, and I'm pretty sure that if I didn't have a doctor that was um, familiar with POTS, I would have just gotten diagnosed with chronic fatigue um, because I have most of the symptoms of chronic fatigue as well. So, uh, And I also believe that most people with chronic fatigue probably have POTS because that seems to be the trend, at least to an extent. Maybe they don't have severe POTS, but to an extent. <laughs> of course, I actually know nothing because I'm not a doctor or anything, but this is just from personal experience and talking to people and all that. So, um. What else do I want to talk about? I'm trying to like talk really quick, so if it sounds like I'm like speed talking, <laughs> it's because I'm kind of in a rush and I'm actually about to go to my brother's hockey game, so I'm going to venture out into the real world and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> it's only about 40 minutes of sitting and I normally sit with my legs up, so I think I'll be able to do it, <laughs> I'm hoping. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to talk about. I am also so excited for this trip we're planning this summer. I really think it's going to happen now. I know we've kind of had a lot of ups and downs where we're really excited and then we get disappointed because we don't think it's going to happen and then we're excited again, but I think this time we're actually going to be able to make it happen. At least I hope we are. Um, costs aren't that much and it looks like we can find some really nice places um, in the area we want to stay, so I'm excited. Um, and Paige, get back to us on that. <laughs> You've gone like MIA this week. <laughs> uh, I really have nothing. This is going to be such a crappy video. I'm sorry, I apologize. Kylie, I'm going to film the clip for your video, your rap video. <laughs> I'm kind of not wanting to do it because I know I'm going to look like a complete idiot, but <laughs> whatever. It's for a good cause, and it's for you, so of course I'll do it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I should have that to you sometime this week. I was going to do it at the end of this video, but I didn't work up enough courage to do it yet, so. <laughs> oh man, this is horrible. Okay, I think I'm just going to end this now. I'm pretty sure it's only like five minutes or something. Maybe it's more, I don't know, but. Uh, yeah, that's my video for this week. I'm sorry it sucked. 
but I hope you guys are all having a great week and thank you to all of our viewers we're already at like 90 subscribers or something like that which is so awesome um, hopefully we'll get to 100 maybe we can have a goal to get to 100 by Valentine's Day that's in like two weeks or something maybe more than two weeks <laughs> um, okay so I will talk to you all next week and I hope you're all feeling well and I hope you all have a great weekend bye guys <laughs>